Hi all, welcome back to more Europa Universalis. Uh, this is the Ambitious Margrave solo scenario. It's my part 12. Still the same day, so I'm going to squeeze in a third part. Uh, hopefully, it is a bit later than I thought, so... But I uh, should be able to push through and finish this off. We are moving on to a military action for the... Um, for the Austrians, isn't it? Yeah, they've drew, they drew this diplomacy card, but it's got a military action for if they're at war. We paid the bot power, and that's where I was sitting at. I don't know why I came back and the book was open here. So unless I had, yeah, it was kind of strange. It was open here. Because I figured I would have left it with a... Although I've had a few comments from Martin, so I wonder if I maybe flicked. That's possible. Maybe I was looking, something he mentioned was maybe on here, on this page. Possibly. Um, now, I'd rather... I don't really have the time to go through all these comments. Um, I'll tell you one that we can deal with right now. As on... Page six. The bot emperor on page six of the solar rules, bot emperor. The very last sentence says imperial. Um, no, 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 no. It's not that one. It's the second last sentence. Imperial manpower is not in use when the emperor is a bot. I read this, <laughs> and I looked at, and I remember saying to myself, "Okay, right." And I've seen other videos where people have done the same as me, and yeah, it still got it still slipped through there. So they don't get that manpower, because the bot is uh, the emperor is a bot, and that's that's that. So Martin picked up on that one. So thanks for that, Martin. Um, he just yeah, I suppose maybe just what's in my head. If I might, I might miss some of them, he he said. Uh, or did I mention this one? I think I did, didn't I? I think I mentioned that he's... I think this was the first one. I might have mentioned this in the last part. About he couldn't find any different... Yeah, no, I did. About the um, removing influence. and But the interesting one was that he didn't find anything that said that you couldn't remove the imperial influence. But um, I'd like to maybe find out a bit more about that before I went down that track, uh, which I replied to him. I would probably like to ask a question on that first. Um, what was... Yeah, see, I'm trying to think of them now. There was a few comments. Yeah, he, he agreed that this was adjacent to this. So, good. Good to know that, that, that I was thinking... Of, well, I didn't initially trigger that one, but... Um, but we'll see, he's, he's yet to see how I dealt with that, with the whole alliance part up there and whatever. Um, I think, uh, yeah, because I think that's in the, the, the stuff that I've done tonight. Uh, what else? What else did they mention? Right, they'll, they'll, maybe come, they'll maybe come to me. If not, I'll go over them in the next part. I just want to get moving uh, tonight, so uh, get this moving. So, Austria bought... Um, military action. That's right, yeah. So, military. At war, yes. They're at war with the Danes. So, yes. Select enemy realm with greatest strength. Um, prefer opponent. Right, well, the, the realm is Denmark. Is that right? If... if um, if Denmark spreads into other areas and that, is it still are we still talking realm the realm being Denmark? Yeah, I guess so. I mean this is realm this the title of this is Realms on the Western Europe map. And um I mean there's Denmark right there. So and as they spread their flag on other areas, that becomes part of Denmark, I would say, yeah. So what I'm trying to, I suppose, in case I've got to look at different 
areas and whatever to see. But no, I think this is tar finding the realm, isn't it? So we've only got one. He's only they're only at war with one one other realm, and it's Denmark. So we've selected that, right? So moving on. Um, if army is greater than three units, sorry, if army is less than three units, uh, increase army size to three units. Uh, oh, actually, it is. It's only two units, so uh, yeah, I must come from here, shall we, Grant? Yes. Can't just come from the outside. Yeah. If army is less than three units, increase army size to three units. Yeah, pretty sure that's right. And we don't have to be concerned anymore with this uh, imperial um, units, uh, which, yeah, I'm, I'm a bit annoyed that I missed that one because I read it and I watched people getting it wrong <laughs> and then got it wrong myself. However, it's, uh, it's been dealt with, so that's good. Um, right, next part is... Army size greater than or equal to two times the target strength. Um, now, the target strength is the realm strength, which is the number of deployed units plus available. But well, looking at the number of deployed units plus available for the Danes, they've got the two allied units, so I'm guessing that's counted. And they're going to stick there until... I want to say they're going to stay there until... Until this flips back over again. I guess this must flip back over at some point. And I'm hoping that something's then going to tell me that these units get, get removed or something like that. Anyway, the, the Austrian army is not greater than or equal to two times this, right? This is three or five. And I'm counting the two as well. Seven, so... Again, yeah, do I feel like I'm... Um, 100% sure that these should be here still. I'm, I'm just going to have to go go with that for now. Um, so moving on. Well, just rather than... Well, no, I suppose it should come down. I should try and just keep things focused on the full chart and then tell you what's going on elsewhere. So that was a no. Right, hang on. Hang on. Though it's the other way about, Grant, remember? Yeah, no, I was looking at that. I wasn't. This is this is Austria we're looking at. So their army size. Now, hang on, hang on. Their army size though includes their manpower reserve, doesn't it? Because it just said that it's number of deployed units plus available. Yeah. So it's five, six, seven, eight. So it's eight against. Yeah, it's eight against seven. So yeah, it's not. Greater than or equal to two times. So no. Has um the bot got four plus more? Um right, hang on no. No, no. I made this mistake already. Army size does mean army size they are. The V2 is target strength. Which is I wonder if this was one of the bits that was maybe a rad. Because this seems a little it says target's strength, and then it talks... Well, maybe not, maybe not. I know there was a one bit that talks something about tax and strength and whatever. See, it references two there. It's realm strength. For an NPR, it's the tax income. But we're, it's not NPRs we're talking about here. They're both player realms. So the player realm is the number of deployed units plus available. So we're looking at Denmark's number of units deployed plus available, which... In actual fact, they're all deployed, so they that is seven. Um, but when it comes to the Austrians at the moment, we're all, only looking at their army size, which is only three, and it's been bumped up to three through this. It was actually at two, bumped up to three, it is at three. So then we move to this. Does it have four or more bot power left and more manpower? The answer is yes. It's going to spend two bot power to recruit up to nine units. Oops. So spends the two bot power. One, two, and going to recruit all these units. Uh, there's five of them there, so it's going to recruit them all. That's why if they were standing up, they'd fit in here a bit better, but I'm going to persevere just now. Uh, so now they've got eight. Well, I think I said eight already, but that was wrong. So we've got eight 
against Seven. Because I think it's going to come back and check there again, isn't it? So we did that. That happened. We then go back to that. Is the army size now greater than or equal to two times target strength? No, it is not. Um, they do have still four bot power left, but however, there's no more manpower to get, so they now come down to here. Is army on the board? No. Place army in own area closest to enemy. Check for Mac. Right. I, I mean, I suppose sometimes you might have to check for this Mac, but when you're, when you're putting it in your own area, I think your Mac's always going to be your maximum. It's going to be whatever... Um, now hang on Grant, hang on though. Place army in own area closest to enemy. Because own area could be, there's, we've got one, two, three, there's four different areas I think that we need to be talking about here. When it says own area. And hopefully my thinking of that's right. And that this is, this, we've got a town in this area. We've got one, two, three towns in this area. Three towns in this area and one town in that area. Um. And in actual fact, it's going to want to go here, isn't it? Now, how, how am I getting that right? Uh, place army in own area. I suppose we need the definition of their own area. Or, uh, I wonder if that will be in the... I wonder if that will be defined somewhere at the beginning. Game concepts, like right? important terms. Areas are considered adjacent to all other areas. Uh, own. When the, when the rules refer to ownership, well, it's not it's not wording it as own as in own. You know, it's, uh, it's not capitalised or anything like that. Place army in own area. Well, I suppose it's still own area, right? When the rules refer to ownership of provinces... They mean provinces on which they which you have a town and and where there is no vassals, uh rebels, enemy towns, or occupied token on the same province. Uh, okay, so vassals don't actually count as well. Yeah, okay. One area. So that could be, yeah, where you have a town is going to be your own area. Unless, of course, there was um, an enemy town in here, or it was occupied, or there was a rebel in here, then it wouldn't count. So I think this is classed as Austria's own area, as are the, the rest of them. Yeah, again, we'll, we'll go along with this and... Uh, We'll see. <laughs> um, right, hang on a sec. Right, so, yeah, so place army in own area, which is closest to... Um, closest to the enemy. Like I say, this is going to be... This here is going to be two away from the enemy. This here is going to be two away from the enemy. There's going to be three away. This is going to be one away from the enemy. So, I think it goes there. And, yeah, we could be having a battle here because it's probably going to move on, isn't it? Okay. Right, and then... Uh, where are we? Yeah. Yeah, we don't need to check the map because it's fine. They're all linked up. This is an HRE as well, so... I don't think they... they I don't think the Austrians are ever going to lose it. Unless they go outside the HRE, they're going to keep their full maximum capacity units, whatever it is. Military capacity, isn't it? Anyway, does that trigger a battle? No. As, as there are hostile units or area uh, less than or equal to two spaces away? Yes, there is. Um, so, yes. Move army to enemy area in range... Prefer largest enemy force, which is less than only army, then area will own claim. Well, there's only one enemy, and he can move towards it. Okay, so I think this is going to happen. The Austrians are going to move in here. And there's going to be a big battle. And where are we? Saxony. Right. 
Okay, does that trigger a battle? It does indeed. Yes. So we're going to go to land battle. And then we're going to end the turn. And if they win the battle, they're going to gain a bot power. And if they don't, it's not. So that's right. Uh, we move here to here. Does it trigger a battle? Yes. Go to land battle. Right. Let's see if we can just deal with us. Now, this is slightly different this time. This is a bot on bot battle. So this might be something different. I think we might we might head up this way. I, I, I don't know. But I did have a glance up this way. And this is where we roll dice. Diff you know, there's different sets of dice. I started getting the grasp of the fact that the NPRs are, are different from the bots or, or other players for that matter when you're when you're battling when you're battling player realms it's different to battling it non player realms. Uh, so one battle. Enemy any enemy as a player realm yes. So this is Austrian still and remember the enemy is the Den Denmark and they are player realm. So yes. Bot is the attacker. Uh Yes, and uh, now hold on. No, because we've done all that. We've done the call terms bit and all that. That was happened when they declare war. This doesn't ha That doesn't happen when we're going to actually have a battle, does it? No. No, and they do have an ally, and they've got Denmark have actually have two allied units. Uh. Right, hang on no, hang on. Austria have an alliance as well. I'm not sure that alliance was there. And actually was it? That's something that's sprouted <coughs> sprouted up. <coughs> Excuse me. Um But the thing is though, Austria came along and joined this war as an ally to Hamburg. So I don't know if they would have brought this ally along with them as well anyway. Yeah, I think I'll I think I'll push on, and if somebody notices something iffy with that, maybe they might say. So, as a bot, bot is attacker. Yes, facing multiple player realms. No. So up in here, battle is in main defenders realm. Um. So hang on, right, we're the attacker, so uh, is it in their main realm? Main realm? Does that mean where their capital city is? Yeah, I would think, I would think that's what that means. Although, it's just leaving you sort of kind of guessing on that one. Though, don't get me wrong, it might be somewhere in the rules that says that, but... I'm going to say it, it would need to be in their main... Main... Here's the thing. Huh? Hold on. You know, if it was up here, we were fine. If it was in Jutland... See, that's their capital there. Which I think is a separate area. It's got a dotted line around it. What's all that about? Uh, it's round islands, isn't it? Yes. Um... What what I mean is we could be would the, if we were fighting in there would that be its main area or would it have to be in there and that be its main area? I'm not sure. Or even if you look at this, this is an area that's controlled by Denmark. Okay, it's part of Sweden, but well, it's not really. It's it's a core of Denmark, so. Is that a main area? Does that count as a main area? Because they control it all, or yeah, okay, well, well, it's it's not, and I guess that's why I'm I'm just chucking these questions in there that, and the hope that somebody might just teach me the game. <laughs> well, well, better teach me the game. Um, so battle is in main defenders realm. No, because it's not. It's in what is it Saxony? So no. So we come down to here. Account from military ideas, e.g. noble knights. Uh, no idea what noble, noble knights is. Um, 
okay, that's is that a military card? Because, yeah, this could be the bot attacking me. Right, there's no noble knights. So, I can't... Oh, right, let's just uh, take that into account. Because it might... Whatever noble knights does... Hang on, let me see if there's any in the discard pile there. No. No, there is not. So, I'm not quite sure what it does. But get my guess is it's relevant to this part of the full chart. So, we would take that into account. Then we move on along the black arrow. Oops up to here. Human player may play battle actions. So that's me. Eh, no, that's not me. There's two bots, Grant. <laughs> it's, not, it's nothing to do with me. Um, human player may play battle actions. Right, well, there's no human player. And then we come to roll battle dice. Okay, so human roll is normal. Right, so we would roll as normal, which I need to look up. And yeah, this is this was one of the points Martin made. Um, they made a the designer made a a video recently about the to be honest I've not watched it through again I started watching it and it was a bit too quick and I, it was before I started playing the game really and started getting into it and uh, I'll go back and watch that but he uh, Martin did feel that they could do a video based on the actual bots actions as well because he he feels that this is probably the the toughest part of this game is um, the most complicated part is the changeover between the multiplayer to the solo rules and how, how the bot works differently from the main game. And remember, you've got a separate book here and it's not it's not all joined together. Uh, and um, yeah, I agree with this. Um, we could... It could they could do a video out there explaining the, because all, all I'm doing is watching videos of people playing the game and you've just got to grab the bits out of that rather than, I did come across Roberto done a, a sort of, not an AAR but a sort of, yeah it's not a video it's just like, a post on BGG and I'm going to look through that again as well, and uh, explaining the first round of a solo game. So that may have some tidbits in it that, could, that you could pull out of that. But it could do, they could do a video of going through all these bits that you're, you know, if you knew the multiplayer game, how it changes a bit and how things work differently. So, I mean, this was, uh, this is a kind of particular bit because it says human role is normal. So what is normal? You've got to know what normal is. I mean, if you played the game multiplayer, you'll know what normal is. I'm just, diving in here in the middle of things so I would need to go and look up what normal is and then we've got military ideas yeah if they've got a military idea they're going to roll uh, plus one dice to six so does that mean that they're going to roll five dice each is it as straightforward as that it looks like it but um <laughs> Oh, here's the part in the solo rules, page 5. Land battles versus opponents. When bots face opponents, human or bot, in battle, following the normal battle sequence. See page 26 of the main rules. I will flip to that. Oh, that was a good flip. Uh, okay. And, um... Bots generally roll 5 infantry dice in every battle round. A bot with at least one military idea gets to roll an extra infantry die. Bots never use military cards or generals. Yeah, they don't use generals. I think it's, is it just non-player realms? If they've got enough strength that they might draw a card and maybe get a general. Count all of bots' units as infantry and then bots never retreat. So I think it's a fight to the death. Um... So yeah, they're all infantry. And that's it if it was fighting us or if you're we or if it's fighting a bot. So okay. Uh so five dice. I think we're just rolling five dice here. Well there was the reference. There's battle sequences in the main rules, page 26, 9.6 battle sequence. For each round of battle, land or naval perform the following steps in order. So and remember, because the bots aren't going to retreat, I think we're just going to cycle through this. So, 
yeah, you can you can see there without reading that just that first bit after, first bit after. Repeat the sequence, skipping step one. If both sides decide to continue fighting, if a player decides to retreat, well, no, the bots aren't going to retreat, so we're just going to cycle through this. So, um, so battle preparation. Determine main defender if needed. Point generals apply military idea effect. So none of that's going to apply, but they could have had the idea thing. Um, they don't do generals, um, and it's bot and bot, so it's not us involved here. Um, so play battle actions, attacker first, then defender. Uh, well, they are not going to do that then. Does it, just, does it say in there that they don't do that? Bots never use military cards or generals. Yeah, so military cards would be uh, play battle actions. Uh, roll battle dice. Both sides roll simultaneously. Well, I didn't get the extra dice. There was a there was a an option to purchase some extra dice, um, which I, I didn't do. So I'm gonna have to roll them separately. I think because I think I've only got five white dice. Yeah. So, but we'll do them simultaneously. Assign casualties, wounded leaders, and captured ships. Wounded leaders and captured ships. Right, well, none of that's going to apply to us. Then retreat or continue fighting. Well, they, they've, they've said they're not going to retreat. Claim a winner. Active player uh, may once per turn gain one for, for a battle one in the action phase. Yeah, so they're going to they're gonna gain one bot power if they win the battle. Um, uh, does this happen uh, if, if Denmark happened to win this battle did they gain the bot power uh, I believe so proclaim a winner active player may once well that's not so side of it so um, uh well, for the solo side, I guess you need to just look back at the... Does it say in military action here? Does it say, Oh, no, land battle. I need to go to land battle at the end. Sorry. Something about that. Um, right, did I not come here? Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. We're up here, weren't we? Where's the bit that says you gain a military power then? Uh, sorry, a bot power. Was that within the military action? Yeah, it's after after the military action. It goes there. Gain one if won a battle this turn. I guess what I'm wondering is, if Denmark won this battle, did they gain a military Did they gain a bot power? I know Austria would win one if they if they win the battle, but uh, yeah, I'll leave that one there then as well. <laughs> uh so so let's go. Let's roll some dice, right? Okay, and then they're not going to retreat. So what we've got here is. we've got five dice against five dice. So we'll do the attacker first. So it's five white, five white dice, which is what I've got. Um, oh, I've actually got six. Okay, right, we only need five then. And the retreat, right. And then, um, it's just the wee infantry symbols. Now, when this comes up, I'm going to have to look what that does again. But, if it's just that, then that is a hit. Now, all their... Units are considered infantry, so anything apart from that, or maybe that being let's I'm going to double check on that one, uh, is going to be a nothing. And then, because there's five, and there's eight units here and seven units here. No, that's fine. That's fine, Grant. Yeah, if you only if you had less than five units then rolling five dice, you would only be able to use the hits for up to the amount of units that you had. Right, let's do the attacker is uh, Austria, right? Let's roll some dice. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, a bit, I'm feeling uncomfortable a bit about this. 
So let me keep this LAN battles bit open, I think. In the main sequence. Roll battle dice. The outlined infantry icon on a... There, that, that one there. Just looking at that now. That means result may be counted as, as an additional infantry hit only if you have the Tertios Janissaries or line infantry military ideas. Right, they don't have that. So it doesn't count as an extra. I thought there was something... Oh, it's for generals. For each pair of these that a player rolls, any enemy general in use in this battle gets a wound, gets a... Uh, the, the heart, the broken heart, whatever. ill health, isn't it? They get a wound, basically. So that's not going to affect the bot at all. So that'll just be a one hit, though, because you've still got an infantry symbol there. Right. Proclaim a one hour retreat. Right, okay, let's go. So, Austria, here we go. That doesn't look so good. So they've got two hits, yeah? Two hits. So. Uh, where's it, where's it? I think casualties, in fact casualties on your enemy equal to the number of icons rolled that match your units in that battle. Each unit can only inflict one casualty per roll. Where are taking casualties a combination? Yeah, if a player taking casualties is a combination of mercenary, regular and or allied units, which the Denmark, Denmark bot does have allied units, so that's relevant. Austria does, aren't Um uh, there's an order in which you do it as a combination. They must alternate applying casualties to units in each category one at a time and then that order. So it goes mercenary, regular, and then allied. So Denmark are taking two hits. So the first one's going to be on a regular unit and then the second one's got to be on an allied unit. Um, I'm not so sure this should be going in here, but we're going to put it in there for now. So, oh no, hang on. Uh, regular units are placed on the play mats exhausted area. They don't have an exhausted area, but it's going in there. Uh, mercenaries and allied units are returned to the general supply. So that actually gets removed to the general supply. Okay, so that's the first. And remember, these are done simultaneously. So if this reduced this, let's say he had reduced this to... Only three units. My assumption here is because it's simultaneously, he would still be able to fight. He still be able to shoot back with five because he's got five dice. So the, the, they are both meant to happen at the same time. It did say that, didn't it? That's uh, uh, the rule three infantry dice. So that must be the norm for a for a human. Um, both sides involved in battle roll their dice simultaneously, and hits are counted against units that match. Yeah. Okay, so it is simultaneously. So, you've, yeah, I've got to remember that, the fact that they've still got... Well, they've got five units anyway, but... Once this battle ticks on, I've got to remember what they started with at the start of the actual each battle round, you know? Right, so... Denmark are going to fire back. Uh, slightly better result. They're getting three hits uh, on the Austrians. And... Austrians don't have any allies or mercenaries, so they just take three hits. Right, so now we're not going to retreat. And it says you just repeat from... Go back to step two if the battle continues. So play battle actions, roll battle dice, sign casualties. Yeah, so we're just going to do it again. So just, just got to take note that they've got five and they've got five. So... If, Every one of the dice will apply if they happen to roll five hits. So this is back to Austria firing at Denmark, right? Ooh, that's yuck. Just one. So one, and this resets the the whole, um, how they're assigned, resets, uh... Yeah, because I remember, I remember seeing that in uh, one of the videos. If we had a... Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. It resets again, so you select mercenary, then regular, then allied. So that's the one that takes a hit. Right? And he's firing back. Remember, he's still got five, though. So he's 
So here we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's just about he's not got a general though. Uh, so one, two, three, four. Wow. Okay, Austria takes four hats. Ouch. So just one left. So one, two, three, and four. So he's only got one left now, which is relevant. Um, I'm just trying to think if they should have the full capacity. Yeah. I mean, he's adjacent to a town. He's adjacent to a town. The Austrians don't matter anyway. I think the HRE covers it. Right, so, and then we go back again. And Austria's going to attack first. Now, they still roll five dice. But this time he can only deal one hat. Because he's only got one unit. And then they're only going to be able to deal four hats. Because they've got four units. So, it looks like the Denmarks are, are up to winning this one. So... Here we go, uh, so as long as they get a one here, which they only just get, so they get one hat, and yet again it resets, so we take a normal one first, so the allied unit stays, that's my belief, you would have to get two hits here for, it, it would have to be in two hits for it to remove one of them first, then the allied unit, but they couldn't have got that anyway, because they only had one hat. So now all the Danes need to do here is roll one hat. They're only going to score on three. Yeah, they still roll the five dice, so yeah. It's not that we reduce the dice roll to three. No, no, I don't think so. We still roll five, but we can only count three of them. And you only need to count one of them. And there we go. There we go. He's got three. Yeah. So three hats defeats that. Um, that is the battle over because although it was simultaneously the Austrians did fire first so we don't need to go any further than that so the land battle is over proclaim a winner um, so yeah well I don't know if Denmark gain a bot power there for winning the battle I'm not really sure of that one. If it be in Austria, but it's Austria's turn they instigated the war and it doesn't seem clear to me that I should automatically just give Denmark a bot power. So I'm going to leave that. I think this maybe tells me here, but let's, let's follow. So we've done our, our dice rolling. Um... And remember, we weren't retreating, so we would cycle through that, keep rolling dice. Uh, sign casualties is normal. See main rules, page 27, which is where I was looking. Then, human player's general receives uh, an ill health per pair of them, rolled by bot. But remember, there's no human players in this battle, it's just bots. Any bot has units remaining. Well, yes, Denmark has units remaining, which is the defending bot. So, yes... Enemy retreats or has no units left. What? Any bot has units remaining. Enemy retreats or has no units left. Well, it's not the enemy that's got no units left. It's actual attacker that's got no units left. Uh, yeah, it does say that the bot power gained is for the first battle win of a turn for the resolving bot, the active player. So I don't think Denmark does get that bot power. Although I'm a bit stuck in here. Where am I? Where am I going here? Any bot has units remaining. Well, Denmark does. So, yes. Enemy unit... Enemy retreats or has no units left. And... Uh, no, hang on, hang on. Well, I don't see why that would take you back up there again. Enemy bot... Any bot has units remaining. If I went here, you may put... If active player receives one... 
Yeah, it's still it's still leading us to end battle. I'm a little confused. And it says there, it confirms there, the resolving bot receives one bot power if it's the first battle victory this turn. The asterisk was what I read down below. And um, so that does, that's not, Denmark's not going to get that. So then it ends battle as well. A little confused to that there. These two boxes, because this is a yes and this is a scratch your head. Um, Because the enemy has not retreated um, and it has units left. So a little confused there. We're gonna end, we're gonna end the battle anyway. So and then end battle would take us back to the multi actions part, but I think that just ends oh, well let's just be sure. I think that just ends the turn though. Uh go to land battle resolve. And then end turn, and it, and it confirms again they are gain one bot power for one a battle this turn. I mean, it doesn't quite make it clear that it's a resolving, but I mean, this is who's resolving it, I think. So I think that's the end of the turn. Now, nothing said there about what happens to this army. Um, however, I'm pretty sure after looking at some stuff, there's no army left in this. So this is gone. So we're taking this off the map. Um... I'll just put him up there and he's put him up there because there's no army left so and I think Denmark just stays where it is is victorious doesn't really gain anything out of it yeah but it went well for him he's still got an army of three units left he did lose one of his allied units so that's more a permanent loss than not I suppose so that was the one downside, but um, yeah, okay. Right, uh, 42 minutes. That's the end of Austria's turn. So I'm going to take a wee chance here and draw one more card, I think. Uh, I'll need to wrap things up here, but... Yeah, and I'm saying draw one more card where I might not be doing that because it's got two bot power left, so no. Um, It's not under attack. All that's cleared up now. Um, the army is on the map, but it can't siege the area. I mean, it's it's in a neutral area, but I mean, it's got to have a, yeah, it's got to have attacked area. No, it's no calling us now. Its spent bot power is greater than its bot power left by a long shot. Um, it is at war, but however, it does not. It only has two bot power left. Uh, so, has it picked the event? It has, so it's going to pass. If it's first to pass, it gains two bot power. If it's second to pass, it gains one bot power. So, Denmark's going to pass. Now, that's going to be first next turn, so it'll get the first player marker, which I'm just going to put up. Uh, not there, no. I'll just put uh, on, on Denmark, <laughs> preferably Grant. I'll put it in there. It's, these aren't getting used yet. If, if they are getting used, I can move it. Um, and uh, he's going to gain one bot power for passing second. So that is the last person to score ducats. Um, so let's go back to that bit that says the round ends. Remember, Austria still hasn't drawn its event. So I think, is it getting a shot? Does it get one more shot first before it does that? Anyway, that's that's Denmark done. So, um, yeah, I need to find out the end of the, is there any difference with the soul side of this then? End in the turn, end in the round. Okay, here it is, uh, on page eight, it's, um, well, this is under passing and then we've got trigger and end activity, so... Oh, yeah, that's an important part. No one may declare war on a player who's passed or their NPR allies. Something to remember. Um, so the number of players was that. Three. So we gained five ducats. He gained, well, two, but he gained one bot power. So there's nothing for third place. So when there are no more players eligible to receive ducats for passing, which is where we're at right now, each remaining player gets to take one more action of their choice. So that's Austria gets to take one more action of their choice. 
for each player who has taken an event at this point, this is their final turn. After this, if any players still have still not taken an event round this round, those players must take one final turn to perform the event action. That's it. Right, so they're actually going to get an extra action because they've not taken their event. I think that means that they're going to take one last action and then take the event. Now, this action could be the event, and if it is, I think that will mean the end as well. Uh, would that make sense? Each really player gets to take one more action of their choice. The thing is, though, that it could be going... Going with how the bot rolls, he might end up taking the event. If that happens, yeah, these, yeah, then the, the round just ends, I think. Yeah, that's how I'm reading that, I think. Right, so let's see. So he's got uh, bot power, he's got seven, and there's eight spent. So he's actually got more spent than not. But then he has that war, and he does have four available. So no. Uh, no, 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 yes, uh, yeah, because he's got eight spent and seven left. He is at war and has four plus left, so he is going to actually just draw a card. So, okay, we're going to do this. Uh, I'm at 46 minutes. Well, let's draw the card and see if it looks like it's going to be a bit long then, well. Well, it's diplomacy. So, he's going to spend two bot power. So that takes him down to only five left. And he's going to flip a diplomatic card. Uh, swing around there. We'll see if we can get this royal marriage, maybe. No, spy network. Well, that's... Yeah, we're wondering what that does. Enables these covert actions. Support rebels. Target opponent must roll. Okay, so this can be kind of... Yeah, it's, it's funny once you start playing the game, you see these things and you understand them so much better, even just by looking at them. Eh? Um, yeah. And yeah, I know, I should have been I should have been better. The thing is, I can't... I don't play multiplayer games, so it's not that I could have had a few games of this with my buddies, you know. And it's not that I've not got buddies. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, um, so what was I doing? Yeah, we've drawn a card, Diplomacy. Right, we've spent the bot power. Right, let's get Diplomacy action. There it is there. What are we going to do? Let's have a look. Okay, so this is Austria this time, Diplomacy. Alliance and Royal Marriage on any non-player realm adjacent to bot. Yes. They do have that in uh, the Hungarian Plains, so in Hungary. I, yeah, I think one of the... Did they start with a marriage or start with alliance in there? They've added one. I don't think they start with both. But anyway, they've got that. So, does Austria have a higher tax income than the non-player realm? I would think so. Uh, that's two... Sorry, I'm... Not really shown, and I have been shown, so why not? Uh, that's two. That's another. There's another one there, three, and this will be an R two. So that's five. Oops. Five. Um. And Austria have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yes, uh, they have a higher tax income than the non player realm. So up here, has influence greater than or equal to non-player realms, tax income plus opponent. Right, there's no opponent's influence in there. And and it's non-player realm areas. So there is two areas. So actually, yeah, it's equal to, isn't it? He's got five. Yeah. Yeah, so I think this is going to work, isn't it? Well, I said they had one, two, three, four, five... And we've got one, two, three, four, five influence. So it's equal to or greater than. So the answer to that is yes. Yeah, he's going to get to annex uh, Hungary. So annex this non-player realm. 
remove bot's influence, um, remove bot's influence, comma, equal to target's tax income plus opponent. Right. Remove bot's influence equal to target's tax income plus opponent's from target realm. Right, well, that's five, but then he's got that marriage there. Does that not give him a... Score three points. Prefer realm adjacent to... Yeah, okay. Um, it doesn't matter. There's only there's only one realm we're talking about here. It's hungry. Uh Right, why? Well, it's saying annex this NPR. So it's leaving you with a, the rule book to go and see what annex does. Well, I was actually going to say it takes me one less influence because of the royal marriage, but that's not going to matter because we you can't have influence in an area that you control all um, the provinces. So we are going to remove all this influence. And in fact... Everything's getting removed there, I think. Yeah. Because he can't have a royal marriage. All this is going away. And I'm going to go with, in fact, no, Bridger, he looked it up. These get removed as well. So, and then two annex. Uh, I'd like to see it in the rules, though. So this is a good finish to the round for the... After the... Dismal defeat in battle. Um, where's Annex? Right, why is that not in the index? Uh, right, I would have thought that was there. Um, well, that's strange. Uh, how do I, what's the other way of doing that? A subjugate, but. Well, I'm not really that, I'm a bit baffled there why the annex isn't in, in the index. What could it be under something else? What's the other one? Vassal. Vassalize. That's what I should be looking for. 31, 33. <clears throat> uh, vassalization. Yeah, full annexation. There you go. Um, 31. Uh, let me have a glance at 33. Yeah, here's vassals. Subjugate. Vassalize and annex. I, I, I'm not, I know what's happening here. I just, I guess I want to see. A vassal may be annexed and fully integrated in its over... Yeah, hang on, Grant. What you should be doing is looking at the solo rules. That's what you should be doing. I'm pretty sure there'll be something in here about vassals or annexing or something. Zoom out. Uh, Although, maybe it's going to prove me wrong. <laughs> but warfare. Army, land battles. We're well, not really finding anything there, are we? Replacing bot realms? No. Well, I know the bots can't have vassals. I thought I might have seen something in here regarding that. Um, am I missing it? I suppose I'm just not reading through it, just glancing. Uh, no, okay. Well, I know, I know they don't have. Yeah, see, see here. I'm saying see here. 
Boss will set up his norm on the board with a few exceptions. First, all vassals are replaced by towns of the appropriate size. Although that doesn't actually tell you that. It, it, it kind of gives you a hint towards the fact that they don't have vassals. Okay, I'm just going to go back to this then. And, um... Uh, yeah. So, if the, basically, the, the, the bot just removes, ignores the vassal part of it. Whereas we've got to vassalize first and then annex. Um, they get to do it straight away, really. They just get to annex straight away. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave it there because I know that's how it is in my... We're creeping on now. And, um, so, uh, right, sorry. Where are we again? Oh, yeah, I'm looking up here. That's not where we are. We're in Hungary. So here, so they've got three town. They've got three provinces. So we now take um, the next three towns off the track, which every one of them is going to start increasing their manpower and income by some. And then we annex the three areas. However, they do become... Oh, no, they don't. They don't even... They don't even do that, do they? No, that's that's just when, you've, when you're attacking them, Grant. That's just when there's been a war. No, these just come in like this. Like that. Full up. Bang, bang, bang. Take that. So that's a good finish for them. And, uh, yeah, I'll deal with them in a minute. Let's just get finished up here. Yeah, so I think there's still a little bit possibly more to do. So we've done that. We've annexed that realm. Um, so now owns all provinces in a new area, which, yes, is the answer, and lesson two core tokens in play. Well, it does have lesson two core tokens. It's not got any core tokens in play. It's nowhere to put core tokens, mind you. So that's a yes, so it comes down to here. If able is... If able, spend one bot power to place a core in such area. Remove other bots' claims from this area. Uh, okay. No, well, it's not got any cores in play. Um, right, sorry. It's got less than two cores in play, yes. Uh, yeah, sorry, that was... There. It does own all the provinces. It does have less than two cores in place. Sorry, I, I'm getting that wrong. It does have less than two cores. Um, but it's nowhere to put a core. So if able to spend one bot power to place a core in such an area, it doesn't have anywhere to put it. Is that right? No, hold on, Grant. Hold on. No, you're lying. You're lying because you've just took over these and these are not... These are not core. That is the whole point. These are hungry, aren't they? These. These are not core. Core means it's got to have your own flag like that. So the answer to that is if able to spend one bot per to place a core in such an area, remove all other bots claims from this area, and then we're gonna end turn. So it's gonna spend who is this again? Austria. It's gonna spend one bot power and it's gonna get a claim. Not a claim, sorry. It's going to get a core and put it in one of the provinces. Uh, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, let's put the capital. Does that seem... There's one of... Oops, I'm not showing you any of that, sorry. Uh, right, so I need... I need a... a uh, not a claim, what is that? A core. Yeah, one of these... So I'm, I'm going to put in Pest. To be honest, Pest alphabetically is the first one. So, but uh, I, I don't know if it makes it better or not. Um, I mentioned, I'm, I remember Bridger making some decisions and he said, yeah, I would I would unrest that guy or unrest that town because the army was there. And I was like, right, that's because you know, that's because you know the game. Um, 
you know, so there's some things that you're going to say, well, I would clearly put the core there because I know what's going to happen. I, I really don't know. So we'll put it there. It is alphabetically the right one to do it. Um, okay, and I'm not quite I'm not quite sure what these cores do, actually. Like I said, uh, this is something I could probably go and do by going and looking up on. So then we would then turn, so that's perfect timing, actually. I thought it was going to go on a bit more there. So good, um, that will get me finished. Now, yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to come back and it's going to be Austria's turn again. However, all they're going to do is do the event. And there's two events to choose from, so we will wait and see what that comes back uh, in the next part. Um, yeah, probably tomorrow. Things starting to get a bit easier at work. Uh, a little bit and then a couple of days off through the week so should get to yeah I'll <laughs> I will need to go back to mother tables really but um, yeah I'm kind of hooked in with this just now I must admit um, I'm not gi I'm not giving up on the other stuff but it's funny how it can do it do that to you I suppose I suppose it's common sense isn't it you do, you, do I really want to go back to the other table and sit and work out exactly what it was I was doing? Because they're not, it's not simple games that I'm playing. They're all quite complex. So trying to have three games on the on the go is a, it's a bit daft, really. I'm not any smart kind of person. So it's not that I'm trying to show off or anything. Um, okay, I'll leave that for tonight. Um, that was good. And... Uh, Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just looking at Brandenburg, thinking we, our army's sitting there, but there's not any, there's not any issues with us yet. Yeah. Okay, and we'll see what the end of the turn is going to bring along, and and uh, well, the end of the round, and uh, see what happens uh, in the next round as well. Well, it'll be quite interesting to see how things change up a bit. Um. I feel like I missed something. Was there not some prestige gain recently? Did they did they gain from Annex in there? I seem to remember saying a prestige gain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. Right, well, that's quite good to have just caught that there, didn't I? Annex NPR, I think I've just read through it and then thought, right, I'll deal with that. Oh yeah, okay. It tells there's a wee two there. So that would have been um it only needed to remove one less because of the royal marriage. Um however in the end once it's all uh, annexed anyway, the influence I think needs to get removed anyway. My belief I'm pretty sure you can't have influence in your own areas. So, um, yeah, um, Austria should have scored three points. So it's kind of zooming ahead, actually, isn't it? Let's go um, 13 now. There we go. So 13, Brandenburg are on three, Denmark still on zero. So that's a little strange, but about 13, yeah, the Austrians are way out there now. Right, okay, I'll get away for now, and uh, I'll be back hopefully tomorrow... Yeah, maybe I've got to get a bit in tomorrow, but then, yeah, that's a fact, the next again night as well. I'm saying it works works a bit better, but um, yeah, I might have a couple of days where I'm maybe not getting back, actually. <laughs> and then I'll have maybe two or three days where I am getting a shot, so we'll see how it goes anyway. Okay, I'll be back later. Cheers.